to academic studies find that a right to carry law do not increase crime. I don't see why passing a bill such for, that claims public safety is going to be of much help. The Senate battle over a measure to eliminate the need for permits to carry concealed weapons in Florida eventually left outnumbered Democrats out of ammunition. 27 yeas, 13 nays, Madam President. Show the bill. Republicans yeah. sent the bill already passed in the House to the desk of Governor Ron DeSantis, who already promised to sign it. We caught up with Zach McCormick at A.W. Peterson Gun Shop in Mount Dora. He's a concealed carry permit holder. He says the new law won't change anything for responsible gun owners except eliminate the need for a $150 upfront cost and annual renewal fees. So long as every citizen recognizes the need to exercise this power responsibly, I would say that it hasn't changed one thing. If signed by the governor, this measure would take effect July 1st. That would mean the nearly 3 million holders of concealed carry permits like this would no longer need them in the state of Florida. Critics say the public safety bill leaves out a key provision, the requirement for a safety course. That means anyone passing background checks for all guns and waiting the mandatory three-day period for a handgun can carry one concealed with no experience, no training. You definitely get the feeling that these lawmakers care more about firearms and the gun industry than they do human lives. The concealed carry program will continue for people who need proof in other states of the lawful right to carry a concealed firearm. Greg Fox, West 2 News.